Got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. We got this. Deploy. Oh, my God. I didn't see you there. You're probably wondering, what are you doing just staring off into nothing? Why? I was just contemplating how powerful we are now. That's right. We are so powerful. The last time that we played, we withstood the incredible might of a Reaper Leviathan and we walked away. In fact, some might even call us H.B. Potter, for after all, we were the bunny that got away. Heck yes. So I kind of felt like maybe we needed a little bit more survivability because after all, we are now two fragments away from getting ourselves a very own Cyclops engine plan. So I present to you the Dilligaf. I built another prawn suit and I have dubbed it the Dilligaf. It stands for, do I look like I give a that's right. This thing is a beast. I figured I'd kind of leave the other prawn suit in the depths of despair. And we would take this one, which where its only purpose is to go into dangerous waters and make it out alive. So as far as upgrades go, I have a hull reinforcement. I, I've noticed that in this game, it seems like you can kind of stack a lot of things. So I kind of thought, you know, maybe I should just stack multiple hull reinforcements all over the place. I gave it a drilling arm so I don't have to keep, you know, it gets tiring after a while. You got to keep punching. This way we can just drill someone's heart out through their face, right? And then on top of that, I gave it an engine efficiency module because that's I don't have all the resources in the world. I figured, why not go back to the scene of the crime and go and get us some fragments, right? There is our good old Kitty Express. Good job, guy. This time we're coming prepared. I don't exactly have, you know like all the upgrades and stuff but i figure if we're gonna go anywhere we might as well go in this because it already oops sorry oops sorry my bad excuse me excuse me i'm still getting used to the incredible power and might of this thing nice thing is we actually have storage right we actually have some decent storage here so i'm pretty excited about this last time we came with a very agile sleek fragile kitty express this time we're coming with a bit of the tanky goodness. This thing I consider expendable. I know, I know. You know what? It's a tool. That's what it is. It's a tool to get us where we need to go. We've got a little bit of this. Uh, and we got a little bit more of this. This looks like a nut massager. I don't even know what that looks like, but that's what I would assume. It's very brittle. Anyway. I, I, where's that even going? We're going to where we were attacked by a Reaper Leviathan. And this time we are ready. We're going to just very, I don't know about stealthily, but we're, yeah, you hear that? What the entry said last time is if you can hear it, then they can see you. Well, I hope you see me. Do you realize that this is named the Dilligaf? You'll find out what it means. How about that? I'm yellow, I'm expendable, and I've got a hull reinforcement. I wish I had blaring loudspeakers so I could just, you know, play heavy metal and Ronda snored this guy. Actually, I probably should know what direction I'm going in. I think, yeah, let's maybe take a peek. So what we're doing, we're looking for Cyclops engine fragments. That's kind of the big stuff. So let's try and pop up and take a look at what's going on i assume they can see us though i don't have the sonar anymore so i kind of not exactly you know subtle okay that's not a warper good i'm seeing a box can i open boxes with this or do i just break them oh you want this do you huh how about you meet the nut grabber? Yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> I feel better already. All right, let's just hold right here. We're going to go in and open this. Yoink, a little bit of water. Welcome aboard. Oh, quartz. I need that. Yoink. Yes. All right, we're going in the depths of despair where we're gonna get us some fragments. We're here for science. That's right, you can't stop the science. We're gonna science the heck out of this place. It's like Mars. Okay, actually, get out. There's two containers. 
Yoink. Oh, battery don't need it. Yoink. Yeah, sure. Hope he sees this. Hope you see us. I got to steal myself up because at any moment he could just appear right in my face and it's really quite frightening. If I just walk around doing this, then can I claim that, you know, it's not a hit and run. It's more of like he just ran into my fist. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Is that what I think? Oh my God. There it is. Okay. We're two out of three, two out of three. Awesome. We're one away, bunnies. We're one away from what I think is a Cyclops completion, but I, I have no... Oh my god, there it is. There it is. <laughs> it's happened. We did it. <gasps> okay, get back in, get back in. Well, since we're here, we might as well look around a little more because, oh my god, we did it. Wow, that was a lot. That was a little anticlimactic. What is out here anyway? Oh, more quartz. Well, I, I'm really low on quartz, believe it or not. I'm surprised the entry in the log said that if he's making that noise, he sees us. I mean, maybe he know he knows. That's what he knows. He remembers from last time. He remembered the slash and we gave him. Yeah, this is not subtle at all, but that's OK. We're not subtle bunnies, are we? We're not subtle at all. Oh, my God, more engine fragments. Well, you know what? We're going to scan the heck out of that. I wish I had a scanner extension on this. More titanium. We need it really badly. I used all the titanium to make the modules, which is why I don't have a bunch of hull reinforcements because, well, I used it all. <laughs> what else is out here? Look at all these box. Oh, is that you? I saw you. We stand before you sort of afraid but mostly unafraid you know what i'm saying he's gonna appear at any second i saw us. there he is there he is there he is how do you not see us come on roar again it's very faint i don't know if you can see it i can see it well let's take a moment open this get whatever is in here dillagaff ready there he is we're making noise. I've got my pinchies. Pinch, pinch. Nut, grab. Here, I'm just gonna grab, well, it's titanium, so let's get it. Come on. The fact there's no music or anything, it's just straight, just terror. <laughs> Stay on the ground. There it is. There it is. There he is. Come on, buddy. You know what's up. I'm out in the open. I'm right here. What have I come for you? See, now I'm just picking a fight, aren't I? Well, you know, I needed titanium. There's other ways of getting it, but I'm not exactly fast. I mean, I'll give it to that guy. He's faster. All right, we're full. Our incredible storage is actually full. All right, well, let's start heading back. And if he wants to attack us, oh, there's that shadow. Maybe, you know what? What if his protocol says he has to get us unaware? So if we look at him, then he's not allowed to attack us. Can you imagine that? How vain and narcissistic he is? Oh my God. I mean, I'm no different, but <laughs> witness me, witness me. Well, actually, oh man, I'm not, I'm really not going very, very far, am I? Yeah, it's got, we're 900 meters. Yeah, it's a lot easier to go down than it is to go up. Uh, I can't believe we did it. Oh, man, I'm so curious if we even have anything close to the kind of materials that we need. Oh, I really need that, but I'm out of space. I know that. More engine fragments. All right, we're sort of flying. Very impressed. The engine efficiency module already coming into play. Here, charge that up. Allowing us to boost for longer. Wow, there are a lot of bridge cyclops, bridge or cyclops engine fragments out here. 
Well, this is where we fought him last time. Maybe this is where he's allowed to attack us. That place is really nice for casting silhouettes of his imposing form, so maybe that's his programming. I mean, our imposing form is basically the Dilligaf. So far, so good. Yeah, he doesn't want to mess with us. Maybe he knows. We have too much hall reinforcement. He knows. He knows he can't mess with us. My God. No wonder you feel invincible. That was the warning on the label. Oh, oh you want some? You want some nuts? All right, there you go. Oh my God, we can get salt. Well, I really don't need salt. It's just more like I want to mine with stuff because we have the mining arm. Oh, it sounds like a Tibetan. Maybe that's the sound for dinner time. We did it. High five. Wow, he didn't even want to attack us. Wow, we, we prepared. I overprepared is what I did. But you know what? I'd rather be overprepared than be underprepared and lose a kitty. So we did it. Oh my god. We're walking out of hell. We're literally walking at, well, figuratively walking out of hell. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. I've been wanting the Cyclops blueprint for what feels like forever, and it was right there, but we just needed to go in and just not give a crap. And then everything would line up. It's kind of like a metaphor for life. When you stop giving a crap, that's when things come online, baby. That's right. So let's just not give a crap this entire episode. That's what I say. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> oh, well, I give a crap about you, Peeper. You feed us. Yeah, this is... I'm not used to how slow this is. Here we go. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and park this beauty. The D-I-L-L-I-G-A-F. La Diligaf. And let's go and see this brand new blueprint. Oh my god, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. So A, we actually have legit storage on these things. My god, that's so crazy. We're going to have to make a few trips, even. This is so great. This is so, so great. So it's going to break down into incredible titanium. We are, like, completely out. I just want to point that out. Obviously, you have no way of knowing that, but I've been using all the titanium. See, even just in that, we already have enough in our inventory to make titanium ingots. So let's go in and dump this out. I mean, look, that's completely empty. We got a little quartz, which we need. We need a lot more. So let's grab the remainder and let's get rocking. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> Thanks, guy. It's all right. It's fine. I got this. I got you. I got you, Dilligaf. I got you, Dilligaf. Up, 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 up. All right, there we go. And we even have a little bit of Bulbo snack. My God. Oh, we just got to break down the titanium first. Heck yes. I'm not going to make the gloss. We don't want to waste the quartz yet. We'll leave it in its unbridled, powerful form. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. We have a lot of batteries that are totally not mine. Only keeping one. Uh, we've got all of the water. I mean, we might as well drink this. This is the, the peasant water out here. Drop this in. Excellent. Got a little bit of backup there. Excellent. Uh, double med kit that I thought I might need. We'll pop that in. Oops. There we go. Do we have another one? Yes, we do. Pump that in. Love that we have overflow. And we'll grit the water before it starts to flow more. Drop in the two salt. Pop in the water. Looking good. Looking good. So I'm just going to top off with the bulbo trees. Plant that. We need a little more. High five. All right. So let's take a look. What does it take? So we can go mobile vehicle bay. Cyclops, Cyclops, Cyclops. Where are you? There it is. In the recipe. There's no recipe. This. What does this take? Advanced wiring kit. Three lead. One lubricant. Three plasteel ingot. Three enameled glass. Easy. Oh my God. That's all attainable right now. Well, I, oh my gosh, we could make this. We, that is what we're doing. Well, what's the advanced wiring kit again? I don't remember. Advanced wiring kit is two. Oh, thank God we're using gold. So one thing 
Is that... So we need one wiring kit. So that's pop, 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 pop. So it's two silver for a wiring kit. They didn't say anything about this. Oh, they do say something about the CPU. I forget if I have one already. So there's our wiring kit. Do we have the CPU? We didn't have an excess. So we need to get... We need to get a few things. That's fine. Because we actually know where this is. Right there. Literally. So these are, these are our table coral samples. We need one and two. Like that. And then we need to have some copper. We need two copper. I don't remember if I have any. I think I might be out. Because I built one of the modules for the prawn suit. But it's just going to be two copper. No, it's just gold. Okay, so we need two copper. That's it. So I think it's limestone chunks. I know that I can set up the scanner, but there's they seem like this, like this. Yes, copper. We need one more. They seem so common, so I'm just sort of floating around. It's easier to see with this light. Oh, that's so much nicer on the eyes, but I'm nowhere near as fast. One thing I want to point out, too, is I actually built the charge fins. So you're wondering, how are you constantly staying charged? Look at that, 100% on the bottom the whole time. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Heck, I'll even turn... Oops, no, don't do that. I'll even turn on the map, even though it's just obstructing my view. You know what I mean? It's that good. So I actually got the charge fins. It is a little bit slower than the ultra fins, but I have to admit, I was a little skeptical the last time. I think they're pretty darn good. It's not that much slower than the ultra speed fins, and yet it keeps everything topped off and charged, which is just, oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. It actually frees up an inventory slot because I don't need or don't feel the need to carry around any sort of like batteries, right? So then I just carry around a power cell for if I need to work on our vehicles in the field. So that's huge. Absolutely huge. I guess we could grab that again. I just need one more copper and we can get the copper wire. That's not it, but I'll take it silver. We use the silver already. Could use replacements. We need everything right now. So a little more chances here. Couple of them. Titanium. Copper. That's it right there and a little lead to go. All right, let's head on back. So you'll notice we're not as fast right now. We're a little bit slower, but with the addition of a big submersible, oh my God, we, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. It feels like I've been looking for the pieces for so long. What, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? <laughs> You're not messing with me right now. I don't give a, so therefore, we are gonna have great success today. Ah, that was the, that was that's always the answer as soon as you stop caring that's when it all goes well all right feeling very nice let's go in and do the copper or thing copper wire we'll make that cpu and then we'll make the advanced wiring kit a little bit more gold all right that's fair oh wrong one on the white bam so finally the gold's coming in handy i love that pop that excellent so now we now just need double lead. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Ding, ding. We need three enameled glass. So obviously we don't have all these things, so we have to go get them. So let's go ahead and drop off the lead. We'll drop off the advanced wiring kit, the lubricant. We'll go ahead and toss in the titanium. We'll toss in the copper, the silver. We'll break down more titanium. We need three titanium ingots and six lithium. I don't know if we have the lithium and been using a lot of it. So let's just gather all of our titanium and compress them into ingots because we need three of them to make the plasteel. So here's one, two, very dense. And then I think I need to gather some more, right? Yep. So I come on in, titanium, pop, pop, still not enough, crafted. Do we have any backups? We don't have any backups. So what about the lithium? How are we doing here? I need two more lithium. I need one more ingot. But in the meantime, we can turn these into plasteel. There's the one. And then the two. And we're going to need glass as well, so we can make the enameled glass. Well, this thing is, is very tech heavy, but I guess... That is to be expected. I've heard so much about this, but I don't really know anything about it other than what I have heard. So we'll just grab, make one glass, use one tooth. Probably going to need another tooth too. We have some teeth, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, we've been slowly using up our resources. So 
Yeah, there we go. So we do need one more tooth. But in the meantime, enamel glass. It's happening. This is so great. Okay, so first things first, we'll go over, we'll unpin. I'm going to just pin up the Cyclops just like that. We'll go in and toss in the enameled glass. And we got to go get us some resources, right? So uh, if we grab one enameled glass, two of these, this, one, two, three, and one lubricant. This is where we stand. Right now we are short one plasteel ingot and we are short two enameled glass. So in the meantime... Yeah, we have a. I think we have enough space. Yeah, we have some decent space. We can still travel around like this. It's fine. Lithium. Lithium, I know where to get. So. Let's go and get the lithium. Welcome aboard, Captain. I know that we can go over to. There's a. There's um, honestly a lot of places to get lithium, but I feel like the most efficient place to get lithium is actually at the Island of Mystery because it's just filled with shale outcropping and they've got diamonds and all kinds of stuff. So let's find that location and here we go. Also, we can keep an eye out for quartz as well because we need a minimum of three quartz because we have one currently in storage. Ah, uh, man. That feels good just to have that out the way. Now, mind you, we are in a dangerous place, so we can't be all fun and rainbows. Here's the thing. I actually figured out how to grow the gel sacks and grow the deep shrooms. I had to slash them with a knife. And then when I slashed them with a knife, I got seeds. I totally forgot that's how I did it with a bulbo tree. So why shouldn't it work the same way? For some reason, I thought it would be different. Just plant them and they'll, you know, start appearing. But yeah, that's that's not the case. You got to do the same thing to get the same results. So we're hoofing it. We're hoofing it. That's okay. Normally, you can you can kind of get in from the bottom and go directly to the place where, you know, all the riches are. We could even have gone to the other island and in a way it would have been faster because by going to the other island and teleporting here and then coming up, you're closer to all of the resources. But this seemed to make the most sense to me. I don't know, from a feeling standpoint, uh, which is kind of emotional, I suppose. But whatever. Emotions are strong in me. Embrace it, I say. We don't give an F. So there you go. You gotta stop giving an F. We're climbing. We're climbing. You gotta go up and then go way down to get the good stuff. It's like, why didn't you just go down? Because I don't give an F. <laughs> oh, so you feel so good. Watch the walls. Shale. Lithium. Straight up. We needed two lithium. We're gonna get more. Well, at least we didn't bring full clear inventory. There we go. We already have enough lithium. We didn't clear out our inventory, which was a bit of a mistake. But hey, we're just going to get what we can get. Yeah, look at this place. I had such an abundance of lithium and I just lived off of it from the first time we came here for a while. <laughs> and now we need more. Yeah, a lot of gold. I actually used a lot of diamonds for the reinforcements and stuff like that which makes sense. It's like hard as rock, hard as diamond. Nail it all. See, the maybe I might... If I want more stuff, I might dump the... Uh, ooh, nice. Oh, full inventory. Oh, I suppose. Let's tell you what. Let's drop some of the gold just to make some space. And then we just need enough for a set of four blocks one at a time this is how we top off excellent awesome lithium diamonds we might be full here actually i'm gonna drop the gold i really will drop the gold we have we're using more gold but honestly i'm the other stuff i'm have more of a shortage for Diamonds, lithium, lithium. I think we're full. We are now full. Okay, excellent. So where we emerge, it's not really a, you kind of got to just drop off. <laughs> I mean, I haven't figured out a more efficient way to do this yet. So this is what we're doing. 
And we just got a... Ooh, Uranonite. I actually could use that for more reactor rods. But we'll we'll go to the Cave of Wonders for that. Because it seems to be a lot more there. Than just random... I don't know what you call them. Random adherence. Adhesion. On this island sub surface wall. We're going to get in our Kitty Express. We're going to be on our way. Ain't nobody going to stop us now. So we have sufficient lithium. We do need to get more. Yep, yep, yep. He's pissed about his cousin on the other side. He knows what happened. He can he can sense it. The betrayal to their honor. Wow. How could someone not give a crap? I thought we were the apex predators. Well, you can keep being the apex predator. I ain't here to stop that. I'm just here to do my thing and learn and study. No one's going to stop me from studying. I'm going to graduate from the School of Underwater Life. All right. That felt good to say that out loud. So now we need more quartz and we need a stalker tooth. And then we are golden. That's it. It is happening. This is crazy. So I think, I think the Cyclops is supposed to be pretty large and it can go pretty deep. And on top of that, it can take a lot of modules and it can, in theory, I think, transport a prawn suit. So that's going to be huge. I'm going to leave the Dilligath behind and I'm going to be going and retrieving our original bulwark. So I'm thinking that's the way we go. So we don't have to, you know, we don't want to leave our equipment all over the place, you know? Uh, speaking of which, I should probably get the Dilligath and mark that up. You know, it's yellow. We should probably mark it as yellow. That just seems to be fair, right? So here's the Dilligath. That thing's yellow. Bam. Hey there, Gassy. Talk to you later, Bino. <sighs> All right, resources to deposit, charging happening at the same time. So, you know, I, the more efficient that I get, the less and less use I get out of some of the tools that we have developed over time. But hey, it's kind of the nature of the biz, right? So we need diamond deposits here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, a little bit of lead, why not? One, two, three. I know that some of it, like that was actually for our, you know, for our construction, but we'll take all of these, put that down, put that down, put that down. That way we actually have space. And now we're sitting pretty for the titanium Four, four. We need two more titanium. I don't think, yeah, I don't have that yet. So let's get out there. We are going to just nab some metal salvage. We'll look out for quartz. Quartz usually you can only really find it in here where the crash fishies are. I basically found a volcanic eruption and in that sort of area right around where it was coming all out there was massive quantities of quartz everywhere i guess i'm this is a titanium run then have i been in here i have not been in here oh my god i haven't well i realize that i'm solo right now i don't really have the rc moth or anything but we might as well take a look i mean it we probably have whatever it is. It's really close to the starting location, so I doubt it's going to be super impressive. But hey, it might have something. That's not good. Grab that. That oh, Bark Torkal. Integrating new wow. data. That's impressive. What's this? Nope. We're at 84 right now. All right, well, let's surface first. We got a we got a PD-8 of it. I love that. Definitely love that. We're not far. There's the Aurora. Very cool. In we go. Let's go ahead and take another look. We'll scan some more grav trap. Some more titanium if we want it. Uh, that's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay. I mean, we're pretty much full. Any other directions? Not really. Oh, okay. Not that direction. Well, this is the way that we went. And I think we're good. How are we doing on space? We're pretty much full, so let's get out of here if we can. Hopefully we don't get nommed on as a snack. We didn't get any quartz. Got a lot of titanium. Got a brand new... Oh, oh. That's, that guy's lovely. Wow. See how completely pacifist we are? We decided not to retaliate, right? 
no, ain't no retaliation going on here. We already had plenty of vengeance before, and voila. All right, so bring that down. A lot of titanium to break. A lot of salvage to turn into titanium. Now we have power. We got a little cuttlefish. <laughs> See, that's the big one, the cuttlefish, right? Can you imagine if you could stick a scanner room on the... I don't even know what's available on the Cyclops. I'm getting too excited. I, if I hype this up to myself too much, that's a bit of a problem, right? Because then it will never live up to it. So let's make that one titanium ingot. There we go. And we'll just get a couple of lithium. And let's transform it into the necessary prerequisites. Heck yes. All right. So we'll take that. We'll drop that off. Plus steel. We got a lot of titanium. We'll drop that off. That's so good. And now we'll just bulbo it up. Yellow. The front ones always get the most use just because of their position. But they're all well loved here in the state of Bunnitopia. Nab that. Yoink. Easy. Free that. Free the water. Dink, dink. And a water. Awesome. Okay, let's go. So I can actually... You know what? I'm not even going to charge. Take a look at this. So right now, this cutter is at 84%. Just by moving around, in theory, it'll go 85. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. Well, I honestly want to have the stasis rifle instead because that keeps us... Oh, it worked. Look at our garden. My God, look at it. Wow, so cool. You know what? I didn't have enough space before, so let's just... Ding. Dink. Dink. All right, what do we got? So many shrooms. Yes, I know. That knife is so cool. All right. Wow, that splits very quickly. Look, they're so small. All right. Excellent. Awesome. Well, that will fill up nicely. That's so cool. It's almost like the membrane tree is sort of the... You know how you go to a, a real garden and they've got a little sign? I should put signs on these. That'd be so nice. Oh my God, what do I put signs... You go to like some real garden and they've got signs and it's got the scientific name. I feel like these are those signs. It's like the membrane tree is all the gel sacks and the seed crowns are all the deep shrooms. Oh, look, they're so small. All right. So we need more quartz. We need a stalker tooth. So I will go and I will set up the scanner now that I mentioned the stalker tooth because that's just really hard for me to find. So we're going to head on out here. We've got all the range upgrades. So we need stalker teeth. Dink. Just like that. It's going to take a little bit to get going. Unless... I, I would assume you can speed up. There's one, like, enhance the speed of processing. And I know you can stack up the range upgrades, but... Honestly, I think the range upgrade is probably more important than the speed. It's, it's nice if you want to constantly scan for things, but then eventually you just want to be able to know where everything is. You don't really want to... Yeah, you just want to know where everything is, so... Even if it takes a little bit, don't, you'll get there. All right, let's go get these teeth. Thanks, Crashy. Crashy's always a little volatile. He gets up in the morning, he's a little cranky. I understand. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to destroy his life or anything. Sometimes you just got to understand where people are coming from and everything come on through. Everything's right as rain. Because we don't give up mm, the teeth. There we go. Nice. Excellent. All by the middle makes sense. Yoink. Well, we might, since we're here, we might as well get at least a few. And so I just got to keep telling myself, look for quartz, look for quartz, look for quartz. I find that quartz is usually in the cavern systems. Okay, let's drop these off. I think we're good on stalker teeth. You don't want to over harvest, you know, because then you're trying to figure out where to put certain things and all that. Maybe more copper if they've got it. Nope, titanium. And you know what? I will scan for quartz. I'll scan for quartz just because I want to be efficient about this. But my gosh, it's the last thing between us and a brand new Cyclops. I guess I'll keep two teeth here because I know I will use them. 
to make the enameled glass. So now let's go ahead and do the last thing. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we have marked up the quartz out here. So stop the scanning and we're going to quartz just like that. Ah, oh, we're so close. We are so close. Dive. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So we need it at a minimum two more. Two more is what we need at a minimum. It's kind of the stuff I do off stream, but man, I did not know what we would need when it came to the Cyclops blueprint. There's that. And the very last one. There. Excellent. It makes such a nice sound too, you know? All right. He tagged me. Ha ha. Crash. Crashy. You got me. You got me. All right. We did it. Let's go grab it. Bam. There's our four. We're going to go with a big double glass. Turn that into enamel glass. And we're going to make us a... I was going to say sea moth. We're going to make us a cyclops. My gosh. We built so many vehicles because we have kind of let them get destroyed and stuff like that. So there we go. One. And two. High five. High five. We did it. So one, two, three advanced wiring kit. The other of the enameled glass. One lubricant and three lead. That's what we need. So let's go ahead and drop off the gold. We'll go ahead and grab the three lead. And we can build it. Oh my gosh. If you build it, HB will come from the other side of the map and enjoy himself. Bam. Eat it. Celebratory. Celebratory snack. Let's go. <laughs> this is it. Oh my gosh. We should go to the sea moth because... I want to see if we can park this thing. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll find out. It's like the entrance right here. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Where's the old bay? There it is. High five. Okay, you ready? You ready? Vast industrial use submarine must be constructed in deep the water. Oh, okay. Okay. Understood. All right. Let's pack this thing up. It's mobile for a reason, right? All right. I'm glad that it's mobile. All right. We're going. We need deep water, huh? Deeper water because it's going to dump it out. So give us a sec. We'll be right with you. Hey, stalkers, you want to chew on this big thing? <laughs> All right. Yoink. There she goes. <sighs> Go. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Is it as large as the Aurora? That's an optical illusion. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right. Uh, first, let's pack that up. I'm a uh, board this. I board from down there. What's. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you, sir. I love how they all have their own voices. Holy moly. Lower deck two. Oh, you can seal them all off. That's oh my god, it's just like a sub. Oh. Oh. Is this the engine? Oh my god! Access upgrade. Holy moly! Do you have storage somewhere? You be oh look at all these power cells. And it comes with a fire extinguisher. Ceiling. Open decoy loading to oh my god, we can launch stuffs. It has a oh it's got a cyclops upgrade fabricator. Shields, cyclops decoys, 
Cyclops docking. It shoots decoy. Uh, oh, man. Docking bay repair module copper. Sonar. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I guess that goes down to where we started. No vehicle dock. We can dock the V. Oh my god. We can dock the vehicle. Can I? Wow. Actually. No vehicle dock. Oh my god. How do we? It's okay. We'll figure that out. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. That's our status. This is <laughs> bridge to Captain Kirk Toggle external lights. Oh my god. Toggle internal lights. We're going dark. Oh my gosh. So well, this is going to be the behemoth. <laughs> Actually, no, hares are larger than bunnies. So this is the hair explorer. That sounds odd, but you know what? No, no, I'm we'll, we'll go with it for now. I don't know what to think about that. Okay, so base color, huh? Should we be completely undetectable? Yeah, deep blue. We get two stripes. I mean, I don't even know what this looks like from the two stripes. We should probably just choose very vibrant colors so we can actually see where the stripes are. You know what I mean? And and this is important. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll do something really bombastic and loud. And then we can see later. Well, let's... Engine offline... Activate external cameras. Oh my god. Oh, we can see the colors. So we're all blue. Still don't see where the lines are. Toggle camera light. There's different cameras. Aha. Blue and then green. Wow. Blue and then green. Well, maybe it'll be like white and black. How about that? Well, A. Oh, they've got silent running. Oh my god. Okay, so let's do instead of green. So stripe two and we'll come in on black and then this stripe will be white. Okay, there. Now if we look at it, although maybe the name, eh, whatever. So we go cameras. I mean, it looks Maybe it should be other way around, actually, now that I think about it. Horn? <laughs> I'm a trucker! I'm a trucker! Oh, that's a decoy. Rig for silent running. Rig for silent running. Engines? Engine powering up. Speed. Ahead slow. Ahead standard. Ahead flanked emergency speed. What? What's the difference with silent running? Oh, maybe just the lights? Rig for silent running. Oh my god, I'm a trucker now. I wonder what all the... These are probably like impact sensors where we're hitting things. I somehow doubt I can dock this in the moon pool. I don't know. We are taking damage. Oh, no, that's power. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to try and dock this in the moon pool. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just park this right here. Thank you very much, sir. Let's turn off the engine, though. I don't want to waste the power. Engine powering down. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is so great. We'll tell you what. First things first, we'll make this stripe black. And then we'll make this stripe like a richer blue. There. Okay. Black and blue. This is like the Kitty Express. You know what I'm saying? Toggle internal lighting off. Well, no. External floodlights off. And let's get out of here. Wow, that was fast. Open up. <laughs> Maybe we should figure out how to load the vehicle first. 
I'm guessing how to dock it. Yeah, let's let's get in the Dilligaff and dock it because I obviously I don't know. I don't want to be in the middle of a bunch of warpers trying to figure it out. So where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Permission to come aboard. Oh, my God. That's one way to do it. You know what? But I said I was going to get the other one. Okay, so unless you can house two or something but yeah let's deal with that later my god that's amazing all right up we go there it is still don't know where the storage is i bet you you have a module or something my god that's crazy crazy storage is clear oh i still have the mobile vehicle bay with me so first things first to the blueprints unpin uh what else is here fabricator that sea moth all that kind of stuff torpedoes i mean it doesn't even apply to the situation let's go ahead and turn the quartz down just because it's a little noisy visually my god that's so cool so cool man things are coming together how are we doing with the rods here i wish i knew what the life is but it just sort of just conks out so you need to be ready okay so we turned off the quartz it's excellent probably top up get some food and we can go back I really want to get the sonar upgrade. I have a feeling that's going to be quite necessary. And let me think, let me think, let me think. So we did build some modules that would be nice to have. So we already deposited the prawn suit depth module. There's the prawn suit thermal reactor. I don't have kyanite jump jet. I don't have crystalline sulfur prawn suit torpedo arm propulsion cannon. I'm honestly on the common the hull reinforcement diamond lithium titanium and the efficiency module i mean i could just pull them out you know that that could be a thing that i do i just pull these out so just to be efficient about it and then mobile vehicle bay i can toss that out again so let's do that and we can even take a look at the log for this giant behemoth of a machine just toss this like that and we'll go back inside and then just make sure that we have enough food and water be hilarious you can build cabinets in there or something how are we doing yep so water one two three grab that toss in the salt we will get some of the food and let's go in and see Cyclops designed to be operated by three person crew. And then here it is. De oh, Degasi survivor. That's right. Bart Torgal. Auxiliary search and rescue mission Bart Torgal. Position vice president of Torgal Corporation. Status lost in space near planet 4546B. That makes a lot of sense when we were looking at the charter yesterday because they talked about the, the different, I guess, oh my gosh, what are they called? Pre org? The TDF, right? Anyway different corporations can reach different status and have access to the charter and the charter gives them rights to develop phase gates and all this kind of stuff and if he's vice president of torgal corp that's very high of course people are going to look for him they're going to have the insurance as well age at time of disappearance 19 no oh wait so no 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 paul was the captain Bart was the vice president. So Paul might have been the president. So it was like, wow, that's a lot of it must have been a small corporation. I mean, like to put the vice president and the president into one ship and then have it go down. The only legitimate child of Paul Torgal. There we go. There we go. Beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants, digitally trained in advanced biochemistry and stellar economics. Emissary Kassar reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five-year term as chief operating officer. Oh my God. And I would not want to be him. That's a lot of pressure. Well, tell you what, we've got the, just double check. We got the food, we got the water, we've got the upgrades. Let's go get us our prawn suit. This is so good. I, I'm drawing a little blank. You know what? Let's even sleep. We're going to, we're going to rest. My gosh, why not? We're gonna let the time pass we're gonna start out on a on a fresh bottle of juice <laughs> internal juice that is 
All right, cuttlefish guy. Let's just say bye to, to little Bobby out there. I don't know what his name is. Here, we'll go and lock this up. All secure. Just say bye. Hey there, little chubs. Hi. So we're going to try and find your little other chubs. And then you could have two chubs. Yeah. So just hang tight with your myriad friends here. It looks get like it's awfully... It's an awfully crowded party in there. And uh, we'll be back before you know it. All right? We'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Good job, guy. Man, he's growing up so quickly. Let's see. I know there's a fabricator module. We, You know what? Screw it. We're going as is. This thing is so huge already. Oh, the hair explorer. See, that should be, I don't know, a different color. Like white, honestly. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Good to hear. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so look at that. I'm so jazzed up and ready to go. Dear God. Wow. Awesome. Is there a storage locker? No, seriously, is there a storage locker around here? I haven't actually looked, right? I would assume you store it inside of whatever this is here. No vehicle docked. We have the construction area. There's the engine shaft. So what can we make? Unknown. Cyclops energy efficiency module, polyaniline, benzene. We've got Cyclops shield generator, create a temporary barrier around the sub, rendering it invulnerable for a brief time. Oh my god, I want to make that. Cyclops decoy tube upgrade, Cyclops docking bay repair module, repair vehicles docked with a... Oh my god! And there's the sonar. So the sonar I did want to have. The sonar I really did want to get. Gosh, I want all of these. Well, that... I guess this, this any of these so that's a good point i did want to get that so what i'm going to do is we're going to go and get our resources just see what we can make and then we'll come back and we'll go totally forgot about that it's you know the the machine to actually fabricate those things is on the machine itself so that's a little confusing at times Okay, so magnetite. We need three. We only have two. That's really unfortunate. Okay. I know we can get some more. I guess we can just take the Cyclops there. That's one way to do it. Uh, we have some gold. We need more copper. We only have one. Man, we only have one-offs of a lot of things. Uh, we've got the benzene. We need a chip as well. We do not have the table coral samples. So to make the polyaniline, we need hydrochloric acid first. Okay, maybe we gather some things because I do want to have some equipment available. So what are we doing first? Well, if we find one more copper, that's just a limestone chunk. So we can kind of go around, take a quick gander here. Some creature eggs. That's not it. I know we just came through here earlier. I assume. Well, we do need magnetite. And the limestone chunks are everywhere. So maybe what I'll do is head over to the jelly shroom cave. Because we need magnetite, right? And... Yeah, I don't know if I'll bring that big thing yet. I think I'll take the Kitty Express because it's more nimble. God, this is what it's like. This is totally what it's like to be one of those families that I would see that has like a whole bunch of different vehicles. And I'd always wonder what that would be like. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, they can choose. They're like, oh yeah, I'll take the Jeep because I'm going to go off-roading or I'm going to I'm gonna take the Porsche because I'm going to go in the mountains. And, you know, that's so cool. I mean, obviously there's a lot that goes with that. A lot of maintenance, insurance payments, things like that. I'm not saying it's all like roses but still kind of a cool thought to be able to have the right tool for the job all right so well we got the copper so we can get copper wire immediately and immediately make the repair module uh in order to get the hydrochloric acid that's the oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank oh the table coral samples that's for the cpu so we can at least get that now 
we probably need four because we need two CPUs, it looks like. So let's at least get that in since we're here. The problem is I think we're going to need more copper because to make a CPU, you need copper wire. So uh, we do need to get that last bit right. Oh, no, we already picked it up. So we'll get some wire. We're going to be able to make what we need a little gold. There we, oh, no, we had the gold already. Make ourselves a chip. Hydrochloric acid is deep shrooms and something. Deep shroom and salt. Oh, excellent. That we definitely have. And deep shrooms we also have. So really glad to have it. One, two, and three. And we have a whole farm outside. So there we go. Hydrochloric acid. We can turn that into polyanilin. Ha! <laughs> High five! And that gives us the Cyclops en engine efficiency module. We need more copper wire in order to get the repair module, but let's at least build what we can, right? Um, and then the advanced wiring kit required CPU chips and all that kind of stuff. So, and the CPU chips require copper. So we actually need a lot of copper. So for what we have, I'm just going to drop off the titanium. We will just keep all the random stuffs, I guess. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go to the Jelly Shroom Cave. We need Magnetite. I actually want to prioritize the Sonar upgrade over the Efficiency module. So let's get on in. Really curious how you charge the Cyclops itself, you know? Does it just charge as it's running? I will close that for now. And let's go. First things first. Oh, uh, nope. Hold. We want the beacons. So if we want to get to that location. Oh my god. Let's go red on that one. So like bases are red. Suits are yellow. And then life pod 17. That's where we want to go. Because there's an entry there. Okay. Arm up. Can I sound the horn? Oh, that's not working. All right, engines. Engine Maybe up. now. All right. <laughs> I wish you kind of go sideways. How do you turn like turn, turn? Can I like yaw or do I have to face the same direction all the time? Oh, my God. How do I do this? If I go slowly, wow, we're bottoming out here. All right, back up, back up. Yeah, we just sort of, I guess that's turning. It's just very wide. All right, we're going to descend a little bit. Speed. <laughs> oh my God, this is so ridiculous. Amazing is what it is. It's like every little boy's dream. I wish I could stand back a little bit. I guess I could turn on lights, right? External camera system. Nope. <laughs> diving, diving. Jesus. Would a Leviathan... I mean, we can't... Oops, sorry, guy. We can't exactly outrun a Leviathan, you know what I mean? So someone's hitting us, you know? So that's not good. Well, let's exit for a second. External lights. All right, we'll come back. Going on foot. There it is. There's the entry. I'm not piloting into here. That's for sure. Silver. Love it. Need it. Oh, we got to go get us some magnetite. So here's the thing. There are the big worms here. We're not bringing the sea moth, unfortunately. So we got to belly scrape our way through old school style. 
We I think we only need one more magnetite. And we are wearing a charge fins. Actually didn't even bring the um Oh, I missed this? Okay. Interesting. Awesome. Love that we got a new log. Diamonds. I'm obviously, we're looking for magnetite. There we go. At a minimum, we got what we needed. Aye, aye. Actually, I haven't seen this. Oh, med kit. Yeah, that's that's needed. <laughs> that's broken. I guess this is a neat place to kind of park at without the enemy being able to attack you. So there's that. I mean, nice they have a med kit. Maybe more copper. Lithium. Magnetite. Diamonds. More magnetite. We're at 117 oxygen wise. Negative. We know for sure there's volcanic activity. More magnetite. We're at six. We're full. Might be quartz or something, but. All right, let's get out of here. We, we came in kind of loaded, but we're going to the hair explorer. Need to vacate the premises. I just need to hope that I'm coming out the same way I came in. That's this is always the dangerous part, because if I miss this, then I'm dead. I think that's the way out. I do recognize the two jelly shrooms right there marking the entrance. Yeah, we did it. We did it. OK, we're good. We're good. Speed, speed, speed. So we're using the charge fins. So we're not as fast. But we made it back. God, look at this thing. It's massive. So unwieldy. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. <gasps> Storage! High five! And oh my god. So they did. They had the similar idea. I usually name it gear. I don't know if I can. Oh my god. There's lockers. <gasps> You know what I would hate, though? I would absolutely hate it. Wow. I wish I could label them. I would absolutely hate it if a Leviathan could destroy this Cyclops and everything inside is just instantly lost. So I'm going to wait on that one. But that is such good news. Such freaking good news. I wanted to know it was answered. Our prayers were answered. Let's go ahead and make this bright and white just like that the hair explorer is now ready and online so what are we doing here we're gonna make ourselves a sonar upgrade and we have a rescue mission to recover the hero of the deep the bulwark that's right all right now uh where's this go it go <laughs> i don't remember which room <laughs> which room is it the east wing or the west wing okay west wing it is okay great how do we charge the energy? Do we have to keep making power cells? Okay, so engine efficiency, that's not it. Sonar. Wow, crazy. Power cells. I bet, do we have to like charge the power cells and bring them back? It's a little inconvenient. Now I really want the engine efficiency module. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the blueprints and we're gonna clear the sonar upgrade because that's no longer a necessity. We've got it on tap. We're gonna lock that up. And let's go. We are now on our mission. Although, sound. What is that? Does that mean we're being attacked? Who keeps hitting us? Man, it's so rude. I see. So we're making that much noise. Holy crap. Oh, reef back leviathans. Okay, so let's. We can't go into our logs while we're piloting. What's this? Oh, yeah. Environmental log. User Paul Torgal requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions displaying results. Oh, so the reason why they came there 
large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances, conditions support a unique microcosm of predatory life forms, minor structural instability in cave walls, extensive resource deposits, average environment safety rating C, optimal habitat site safety rating B. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency, medium distance from predatory organisms, stable foundations on which to build, ready access to materials, a signal tracking the site has been created. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I don't know if I fully agree with that, but I mean, they did the analysis, so I'll, I'll trust in that. So we'll go over to the beacon. We're going to clear the Degasi habitat here. We'll clear, clear the life pod 17 grouping right there. Uh, we are now going to clear the Dilagaf marker. We're going to tune up the Bulwark marker. We're going to clear the Kitty Express. Bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Really? I'm not even in the water right now. Okay. Self scan. You're going to show me my lesions and stuff. Infected. Yes. Understood. Well, we should probably eat and drink. So that, bam, that's a little better. Okay. Let's go. Although, whoops, hang on. We need to go to the outpost discovery. That's the way. That's where we need to go. And I will, we've got our external lights on. God, this place is large. No wonder they say three people. There's the sonar. How do we... Do I click on it? You have to manually click on it. Oh, you just have it on. Oh my God. That's amazing. All right, let's turn. Ooh, whoops. My bad, guys. Sorry. I never drove a truck before. I mean, of this size. I've driven a truck. Oh, look at the wreckage. Yeah, we're just trying to go to Outpost Discovery. We're not the fastest. So wait, we're going to try and take this thing down to where the warpers are? Can they get through? That seems sus. That seems really sus. Because in order to go and get our bulwark, we got to take this thing down. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, we'll see. That would really suck if the warpers just warp you right out of the cockpit. <laughs> it takes so long to get back in. All right. We're at good running speed. We'll deactivate the sonar for now. Rig for silent running. Rig for silent running. So I see that we're not making as much of a footprint, but... External camera system. I guess now we go to sonar. And let's dive a little bit. We're coming from above. silent running just yeah that's right that's basically a giant please attack me horn what the heck is that is it basically you're gonna die now that you are so slow and i know exactly where you are music well we found our outpost that's a plus can i just sort of eat it and absorb it inside all right we're gonna try to take this thing down we're going to go slowly. Descending. Oh my god. Am I going to break every single wall? I can't see very well. Holy moly. Oh my god. We're at 66% power. Oh yeah, I, I wonder if I have to build like millions of power cells just to make sure we can... This is a problem. It's alright. It's alright. We'll figure it out later. It's a not now problem, but it soon will be. Where's our bulwark? It's this direction. I can kind of see down. I guess this is what the cameras are for, right? Wow. Holy moly. We're coming for you, Hero of the Deep. There's an ampeel. Who else is attacking us now? 
Don't worry, we're silent. <laughs> we're silent, guys. It's fine. Although, hang tight. I realized, are the lights still on? Yeah, the external floodlights are on. Oh, never mind. It overrode it. That's excellent. All right, we're going. I think with the engine efficiency module on the bulwark, it should be sufficient to just install the module. And then we should have enough thrust to get us into the bottom of this thing. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Please don't destroy this thing. Of course they are. Really, guys? 500? Oh my god. Holy moly. 500? I didn't, I didn't realize. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Wow, okay, well, hang tight here. Engine off. I don't know what that means. Well, maybe I should keep the engine on because then that allows us to pull things in. All right, we're backing up. Wow, holy moly. Well, repair. Nope. <laughs> Well, that's cool. We got to go outside, I guess. Man, always... I bet it's the warpers. These guys are jerk sausages. Can I? Do I have to be right wherever the damage is? Can I repair it here? I guess not. Well, let's go get our stuff. Oh, boy. I have to admit, feels like a lot of pressure. Literally. But, but what's interesting is that even in that cyclops like that now i'm really glad i didn't fill out the lockers you know what i mean so first things first please leave me alone sir oh my gosh you're totally not are you oh my god fine you're a jerk and you're gonna know that i don't appreciate all of the shenanigans get the heck away from me seriously come on are you really gonna act like that when i asked you nicely is that what you're gonna do I guess you're not going anywhere, are you? Come on, come on. Move along. You're a carnivore or you are prey? Are you prey now? Well, you better start praying. Come on, buddy. All I ask is I just want to get my friend. Oh my gosh, I gotta ask forcefully around this place. This is like Detroit or something. Can I, can I just tell you what? I'm gonna go to all right, there we go. Module, module, excellent. I think we're going to need the engine efficiency module, honestly. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, we'll get a little bit of repair. We'll get some water. We'll get some food. Let's get to it. There's the hair explorer. Can barely see it. 171. God, we're so far down. There's a warper, of course. Of course. We got to land, recoup. Oh, there's a ruby. Oh, you're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're such a jerk. Oh my God. Well, I might as well get this ruby. Thanks for pointing it out to me. Oh, you got a funny hat. Okay. <laughs> you're such a jerk. But so are they. So we're all a bunch of jerks down here. We're made for each other. That's what I say. Yeah, how am I supposed to get up there? I guess you really have to make the engine, like the depth module. Let's park here. We just gotta have to find a way to hop around. There we go. Oh. Come on. Let's get higher and higher, right? Little steps. Let's go. We're gonna get over to this little bit of a landing plateau. This is an operation, right? Where is our giant? Maybe I shouldn't have made it blue and black. <laughs> this is always the problem. Oh, it's right above us. Okay. Fair enough. Oh my God. We may have to go to crush depth. Where am I supposed to land? We're already out of juice. Oh my gosh. This is not higher than I was. Crap. Yeah, now we're at 625. 
And we've got Mr. Jerk Sausage here. All right. Eat that, Warper. Do you serious? How about I... This is the Nut Grabber. Haven't you heard of the Nut Grabber? I'm not afraid to grab. Every December, we watch the Nut Cracker. What do you think I'm going to do now? Huh? Good question, huh? You don't want to play now? All right. Well, let's just not i really don't feel like grabbing alien nuts let's oh my god all right here we go here we go here we go and i really don't know i really don't want more gold oh of course they're in the way so we're 123 meters if i'm looking straight up i have to go to crush depth hmm That's problematic. Is there a place that we could go with where I can get a little bit higher? I mean, because this is a straight shot down, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. We would either need the depth module, which I do not have the recipe for. I mean, this is already a huge, huge win for us, I think. But still. Well, let's at least get to the second landing so we're a little bit closer. And then we'll kind of have another think. And bound. I can't believe we have a freaking horn. <laughs> it's so bombastic. I love it. Love it. From here, do we see... Ooh, there's Ruby. Well, I will get out. Yank. Is there another spot that we can land? We just need to scout here. I know our hair explorer is there somewhere. It's up there. It's so high. Yep, yep. They're angry. I understand. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Systems online. It's good to hear. Although, we might need a little work. Like, is there a place where we go where we can do the repairs? Or do we have to be docked or something? No vehicle docked. Decoy tubes is the upgrade side. Fire extinguishers. I know we could go down this. I don't remember what's down here, actually. Can I climb down? Oh, oh. There we go. It's just another way in. Lower deck. Lockers. You know what? I'm going to risk it. We'll put in some of the resources. Just the raw resources. Yeah, fine. And then I guess we'll come back up, keep these sealed. Oh, it'd suck if you have borders. Oh my gosh. Of course, creatures attacking. Maybe you can do re access upgrades. No, I was going to say maybe you can do the repairs here on the engine. Power cells just drained out. Wow. I see. So you really have to build power cells and swap them out. That's that's good to know. Decoy tubes. These power cells are just draining like crazy. So good to know. Okay, well, I think that's the extent of the ship. Probably should have. I was too excited. I still am excited. I probably don't look it, but really, really excited. Damage. Can't do any repairs from here. It's raining, not men, but water. And color wise, I almost say we should probably go to pure white just so we can see <laughs> we can go to the activate sonar external camera system there we go okay so let's toggle this is i guess towards the back this is above and to the front this is the of the the rear facing the front Okay, um, I think we're generally down in that direction. We're at 483. Camera 3 screw. Oh, see, if we move, those guys are going to be jerks. Oh, there's some quartz. That's cool. What do we do? Explorer. Internal lighting. We're rigged for silent running. If I want to get it... Oh my god, our power is 
just draining like crazy. Holy moly. We better get on up. Okay, so we need to return. We need to leave. And I need to build power cells like crazy. Otherwise, I think we're we're stranded. Oh my god. We're gonna have multiple <laughs> multiple rescue missions. Oh my gosh. This is not good. The head standard. Standard speed, please. I'd really like to get out of here. I'm nine percent. I was wondering why it was draining. <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't drive a truck. This is what happens when the... Yeah, well, you know, stuff happens. I can't see. We got to ping out. Fire? Oh, that's so not good. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, we got fire. Oh my god. Wow, this is like a real sub. Oh my god. Where? Down, down, down. External fire? Oh, external fire. Oh, that's a fire. All right, come on, come on. Extinguisher is... I saw it here. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. We got this. Deploy. Come on, baby. Fire. Extinguished. Wow. This is really cool and intense all at the same time. Our, is our power completely drained? Yeah, we're at zero percent. Can we even move? I don't think we can move. So we are powering down. My God, that's crazy. Sound the horn. <laughs> so this is the state of our Cyclops. It's not really. Yeah, we don't have any lights. Uh, <laughs> we might be leaking a little bit, but you know what? This is awesome. I think we did a lot and we also flubbed it a lot. But you know what? We have ourselves a base, a Cyclops. And just like a Cyclops, we only have one eye that can look out and therefore we crash in everything. <laughs> Warning. External hull damage detected. Yeah, no, I'm getting that. I might have to, I'll have to figure out how to repair things. Uh, bunnies, this is awesome. We've got a Cyclops. It's maybe drowning a little bit, but we got to go out there. I got to build power cells like crazy and we'll be back before you know it. And we still can rescue the bulwark. I think that's going to be the focus of the next. Uh, well, maybe not the entire focus because we could obviously get some upgrades regardless i had a lot of fun if you enjoyed the episode please feel free to like share or comment down below i had a total blast i hope you did as well i can't wait to get into the next one with you have a wonderful night